Hey guys, welcome back. As you know, I am relatively new to weathering, and uh, lately I've been trying to uh, practice it. Um, this is my second attempt, and uh, I have a couple boxes full of uh, old rolling stock from uh, from way back. Uh, I don't even know what brand this one is, but as you can see, it's it's a pretty old one. Still has the horn couplers and everything on it. Uh, this is a uh, Jersey Central Lines box car. Um, so I decided to practice on this. Uh, what you're looking at now is a uh, before picture, uh, a couple before pictures of it. This video will be just a uh, slideshow video. Uh, I didn't really take too many pictures along the way, uh, but I did take a couple, so uh, sit back and uh, check these out. Here is the uh, box car uh, after I used an airbrush uh, with thinned white acrylic paint, uh, just the cheap stuff you get from uh, Walmart or craft store. Uh, to give it a faded look and uh, then I also used uh, Badger Model Flex Rail Brown uh, along the bottom uh, at the bottom of it to uh, give it a kind of a dirty dirty grimy look I also sprayed some of the Rail Brown up the ends of the car uh, to simulate uh, some dirt getting uh, kicked up uh, from the rails and since I wasn't too concerned about the bottom of the car, uh, I just took the uh, rail brown and sprayed a pretty heavy coat on the bottom to take away the uh, shiny black. Here is just a look at the roof after it has been faded and with a uh, light coat of the rail brown on it uh, also. You can really see the uh, difference it makes as I remove the walkway here. Uh, you can see the, the clean spots underneath the walkway. I probably should have took them off before I started. And uh, here is the finished product. I uh, used a combination of uh, raw umber burnt sienna craft paints um, and uh, weathering chalks. Um, to uh, get to this, uh, to what you see here, and then of course uh, I've uh, I did it in layers uh, and sprayed uh, doll coat on it in between each layer that I did. Uh, like I said, I, this is still new to me. I've learned some things I liked, some things I didn't like, some do's and some don'ts. It's all a learning process, and. Uh, uh, you know, for the most part, I'm not too uh, upset with how it turned out, but I do see some things I would do differently. Uh, and as far as the trucks, uh, a lot of that's just uh, acrylic paint uh, dabbed on there, a, along with uh, some of the rail tie brown from Model Masters, and then some uh, rust on top of it, um, rust-colored paint. But that's it. Uh, like I said, still practicing and still learning. So we'll see what the next uh, attempt brings. Thanks, guys, for watching.